Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV, and I've got a real nice coach actually for you guys. This is a 98 Monaco Dynasty. Um, even this is a 98, it's probably one of the cleanest ones I've seen. Uh, it's definitely been well kept. I'm going to take you on a tour of this coach so you can get a better idea of what you're buying. But uh, for a 98 coach, man, this thing is nice. So, we're going to start with the outside and we'll go on the inside, of course. As you can see, it's got one uh, slide on this side here. We do have a window on It's got all the awnings. So, we got a slide topper. It has window awnings on um, the uh, window awning in the rear there. The one up here, I could get the, uh, the, the fabrics are all in that Luma guard, but um, the, the little strap, it was weather checked, and so I tried to pull it, it, it uh, tore at the bottom because you have to tie a knot at the, at the uh, bottom of that to get the inside awning there. Um, it does have a nice, uh, looks like a full body paint job. Um, up front on the cap, you have, they had a film, it's like a 3M supposed to be like a shield to protect it, but over time it gets weather tech, so that's uh, why you see the, uh, the front of it like that. But it's not the paint that's bad, it's the actual protective film that they've installed. So you see that's the original paint, but it just gets cracked over time. Uh, it does have an Onan 6500 generator. It's only got about 600 hours. It uh, fires right up. You've got up top there, you've got your, it looks like a searchlight, and also some air horns. Um, again, we, uh, like I said, it does have a ton of awning, so you have a door awning here. I brought out the awnings that I could. So the two awnings, the two, this is what I was talking about on the window awnings. There's the strap on the very bottom. It busted, but I did pull it out uh, and check the fabric, and the fabric's still good. You just have to tie a knot there. I didn't have a ladder, so I just left it. But um, anyway, so you got your door awning, your main entry door here. It does offer uh, dual side fueling, which is really nice. So you can fuel it up from either side of the coach. Um, you've got a your basement storage with a slide out tray. We've got your ladder extension. That's a ton of storage in there. Um, again, look at the uh, the outside of this coach. It's super nice. We've got a power awning here, and then it's got another window awning back there. It is a diesel, of course. If you have it running, it sounds great. Um, over on the back, it's a Cummins turbo diesel. Let's get this nice mural back here. And then I'm gonna try to open the engine hatch for you with one hand, hang on. The motor sounds great. Uh, it does have a side radiator. That's always nice to see. So you can access your engine bay, get to your pulleys, without having the radiator in the way. So your radiator is actually on this side here. Here's a look at your uh, another awning here for your window awning. And then uh, your living room slide up there. It is 50 amp service. Oh, and the generator, it's on a, let me show you. There's an actual electric your breakers and relays and stuff like that in here and then you also have the generator on a power slide so it's kind of cool see it just moves itself out so that's how you access your generator so it's on a power tray super cool like I said I think it's only got 670 hours we'll go and make our way to the inside you do have a little bit of them on the on the on this side you got some clear coat peeling fading but overall still a nice Nice looking coach from the outside and then super clean on the inside. Wait till you guys check this out. So on our way to the inside now, it's got the power step. You do have a tear in the uh, the screen door there. Make sure you notate that. All right, so here we are on the inside. Take a look at these seats. I mean, I've seen a lot of the newer market RVs. The seats are all peeling. These seats look great. Um, it's only got a hundred. It's only at 104 on the engine. Uh, you've got your leveling jacks. It's got the Allison touchpad transmission and uh, backup camera You got they upgraded the TV. They got rid of the dinosaur TV back in 98 and put a uh, looks like a Samsung flax screen Awesome cabinetry and the headliner on this thing super clean doesn't show really any signs of leaks I mean the thing looks great especially for uh, a 98. I mean look at how clean this thing is the carpets are clean Both chairs are super clean um, 
Oh, here's your hours for the generator. 677. Um, so that's not much at all. And um, then just take a look at the interior. So we've got a jackknife sofa there, tons of cabinets. All you got overhead storage. You got a barrel chair here. I think that does flip up to make like a little table or work desk area. Really nice uh, dinette there. I mean, look at this kitchen. Real tile floor in the kitchen. You've got uh, double uh, double stainless sinks. You got a convection microwave. Nor cold four door fridge with uh, cabinet uh, paneling to match. Fridge is extra clean, extra clean as well. Got a nice maker on this side of the freezer, as well as just a freezer on that side. Now, again, real tile on the uh, kitchen and bathroom area. You do have a ton of storage on this thing, so you've got a. Uh, looks like you can even. So you've got a all-in-one washer dryer, but I think you may be able to fit a stacker. I think these shelves do come out if you want to have stackables, which is nice. But yeah, you've got a splendid washer dryer combo there and then you got a bunch of storage oh these pull out too that's really cool super nice man they don't build them like this anymore like they actually put the roller the roller cabinet that's neat let me see if we can power that light on nice okay well awesome so you got a lot of nice storage so they're on the rollers which is super cool the cabinets on this thing they're nice real wood you don't really see that anymore either um uh, anyway so here's your uh, vanity area Super clean bathroom. I love this shower. You've got a beautiful glass shower. Um, super clean in here. Oops, it's locked. I figure out how you do this. I can't do it with one hand. I locked or unlocked? Oh, okay, there you go. I haven't been open a long time. But also, it's supposed to be tight like that so it doesn't uh, fling open when you're going down the road. Um, over here, we've got uh, your island bed. It's got its own ceiling fan. Uh, of course, it's going to have two airs on this one, so it's got an AC for the bedroom as well. Lots of nice cabinetry. I do think this is really cool. Like, they really went out on the cabinetry on this coach. So, you've got uh, nice shelves in this hanging closet. It's got a light, your Samsung flat screen. The door also closes pretty neat. And then they've got the same thing. they got a ton of storage here. I thought when I first saw this, I thought this is where your washer dryer went. But no, it's got that up there. And so, you got your extra seats for the... Uh, dine it up there it's got a safe down below and then hang hanging closet really cool so lots of nice storage in this uh, bedroom here and uh, I do have it running so um, that's what that noise is back here because you got a rear engine but it's sounds great here's your uh, private area to do your business of course you got a vent fan there super clean coach guys if you're in the market you want to get a nice uh, diesel pusher but you don't want to spend a ton of money and uh, you want to just get something nice for you to cruise around in or, you know, travel with your family, I would consider this because, one, it's a pre-DF unit. You don't have to mess with none of that emission stuff. And uh, it's a solid coach. Runs good. And uh, I think whoever gets it will be plenty happy with this rig. So give us a call, 936-253-8130. Thanks for watching.